I'm on this continue doing vlogs. I'll keep you posted and let you know when. But some of these latest jump offs that I've been doing will be like basically classical jump offs because I'm going to discontinue doing vlogs and focus on my life more. It doesn't take nothing out of me to do a vlog. Because normally I do anywhere from 5, anywhere from 30 seconds to 20 minutes vlog. Sometimes I do 35 minutes. But I've considered to discontinue it. Because people actually would inbox you and tell you weird stuff. Yeah, they'll tell you some weird stuff. Now, people sometimes, when you interact with them via social media, they actually think they know you on a personal scale. I meet fans all the time. I don't be trying to go in their pants. Fans meet me. They don't be trying to go in my pants. Only some of them. Most of the younger generation women. So, Facebook is not a sexual thing. It could create an attraction, but you don't have to follow through with your feelings. I see people I'm attracted to. I don't say nothing to them. In fact, I don't need, need to know them. Knowing them ain't gonna benefit me none. I think some people abuse it on Facebook. Instead of using it as a form of social media to interact and have fun. They're basically using social media to formulate prostitution. That's what's been going on a lot. This is how, well, I wasn't, I'm not really a Facebook type of person, but I've realized, good Lord, she's a hoe. Oh, no, she's not a hoe. She's a whole Olympian. So, Ladies and gentlemen from the mass, let us all consider to discontinue disrespecting women. Instead of calling them ho, we call them ho Olympians. Because they've been stretching it out all along. They got women on Facebook. They're not really there to have a social friendship gathering or something of that nature. They're actually selling sex on Facebook, man. They're actually selling sex on Facebook, man. A lot of people are doing that, man. Younger, yo, the younger generation women. Not all of them, but a large percentage of them are selling sex on Facebook. The other day I passed on Pope Set Street. And women was flagging on my car. I'm like, do I know this shit? And then your mom be like, yeah, I know her. Pull over, see what she want. Then everything is let out the bag once that happens. Man. I would like to tell my fans, Facebook is not a sex thing. Facebook is not designed to meet clients and have intercourse with them. Facebook is something that's supposed to consist of fun. Facebook consists of fun. And they're trying to utilize it for a sex scheme. Sometimes people send me a friendly request. And I, I, I press confirm. Next thing they inboxing me saying stuff like, do you want to see private shots? 
I don't want to see no private shots. I'm in my 40s. What do you have on your physical body that I haven't seen before? What do you have in between your legs I haven't seen before? If you're male, you have a shaft in between your legs. I'm a male. I see my shaft every day because I got a shower to take care of my hygiene. A female vagina is hers. She has to clean it on a daily unless she's a nasty Olympian. A woman has nothing new on her. That a nigga haven't seen. So when fathers they approaches or come around and they offer you they Virginia, which is vagina, we trying to keep it clean. Whenever you hear me say Virginia, That basically mean the vagina. Sometimes I go and get on Facebook. Women are inboxing me their vagina. One guy even, some guy, somewhere in Afghanistan somewhere, Baghdad Nigga showed me his dick I swear my mother grave yo I wish I could have reached him man I'll put a hole so big in his head yo He wouldn't even would never believe that it happened I would have just bust his head open yo I swear yo I don't trust none of it anymore. People are different in the world. Sex, 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 sex. Sex, 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 sex. I'm not against people that want to do that. But I'm talking to the younger generation women. Y'all are getting pregnant out here like that shit is like a joke. That you have no income. First of all, you're going to feed a child without an income. And y'all opening up y'all front to guys in the streets. Do you realize your life is in danger? Everything is about sex right now. Took the girl on the phone you never met. Sex. Like I met this one girl on Facebook. I don't normally do with Facebook fans. But she kept pushing me to come see her. So I was on the full pressure. And you look.
look at a person that you don't know from nowhere in your lifetime talking to you about how good they, they Virginia is. Like this one chick, she was just obsessed about introducing her vagina to me. I don't know why. I'm not thirsty. I am not thirsty for females. I have a history, man. Maybe them new jack niggas that y'all, you know, just start seeing. They just came off their mother Porsche. I'm old school, man. The life I live is real, man. I'm making soursop juice right now. Because they say that shit is so intensely significant for your body whenever you get an opportunity. should use Southside. I'm going to tell you something too. If you go to the U.S. and you walk into a store and see, do you see the price of a Southside? You should buy it, man. You should use the one you have for free out here. You should certainly use the Southside that you got for free. In the Caribbean, a lot of things that we have is basically to our disposal. It's at your disposal. Sop you use to, you know, utilize it to make this. Soursop is very important. So whenever you get a chance, you should make a soursop juice drink because trust me, this the soursop is expensive in the U.S. Soursop is expensive in the United States. So whenever you get a chance, man. Fight so much in your body. 